welcome to Cheap Joe's. My name is Julie, and I'm here to impart some knowledge to you today via a two-minute art tip. And today, you can see that I am seated, so that means that we are gearing up for a demo. Today, I wanted to talk to you a little bit about a new product called Stonehenge Aqua. It's a black watercolor paper. This is different than regular like black craft papers or black drawing papers. This one is actually specifically engineered for watercolor. So it is sized like a watercolor paper and all that kind of stuff. But the good part is in the pulp when they manufacture it, they actually have pigment in um, the slurry. So you have a consistent color all the way through and it's a really, really great rich black. It's not blue black, it's not brown black, and it doesn't actually, um, like if you've ever done any kind of water media on a craft paper, sometimes the black will actually pick up and turn the color or the, your brush blue. This does not happen. This is 140 pound. It's pH neutral, acid free, all that kind of good stuff. There's no animal gelatin in this. It's completely synthetic gelatin in there. So for you people who are completely cruelty free, Free and worried about animal product. There's none of that to deal with in here. This is kind of interesting because this will allow you to layer color on it, which like if you've ever worked on colored craft paper, a lot of times it will not. Um, if it gets overly soaked, you have to be kind of careful because it'll start to pill and pick up. You'll actually pick up the, um, the, the fiber of the paper. This is a little bit different. Um, you can layer watercolor on it. You can use markers and gel pens. You can use them both together. I am going to be using a little bit of American Journey um, for this demo, and we're also going to be using a little bit of Fine Tech, the iridescent metallic watercolor, because it's like fun and magical. looks really good on this black surface. I have noticed that like you really don't want to overwork the surface. If you get it too sloppy wet, it, it doesn't like that that much. I mean, we're not going to be slopping on really, really wet washes here. We're going to be using mostly color onto the dry surface, but I just kind of wanted you guys to see specifically how this works and how great it is. I think you'll get a real feel for how this behaves. So take a look and see what we're going to do today.
so we've taken this about as far as I can uh, for this, but I think it turned out all right. So we used a little bit of titanium white on this Stonehenge Aqua black paper, along with some Fine Tech, also some Joe's Red. As you can see, color layers really, really easily on this paper. I think you'll find you are a little bit more successful if you take it a little bit slow and don't get it sloppy wet. It builds a lot more easily and you're not picking the color back up if you do let layers dry a little bit. But I think you'll really, really like this paper. It's got a lot of great characteristics. It's fun to work with um, and we hope that you will enjoy.